Cancer remains a global crisis, with nearly 20 million new cases diagnosed in 2022 alone, according to the World Health Organization. The hardest hit nations include China, with over 4.8 million cases, the United States at 2.4 million, India with about 1.4 million, and Japan at 1.3 million, highlighting the urgent need for breakthroughs. Russia is stepping up with two cutting-edge vaccines poised to transform treatment by late 2025. Developed by leading institutes like the Gamalaya Center, these therapies offer new hope to millions. First up, a personalized mRNA vaccine built on technology from Russia's Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine. Here is how it works. A tumor sample is sequenced to identify unique mutations. Artificial intelligence then designs a custom vaccine in under an hour, instructing the body to produce proteins that mimic cancer cells, training the immune system to attack. Preclinical trials on animals showed it suppresses tumor growth and stops metastasis. Human trial for melanoma kicked off in August 2025, with plans to target other cancers soon. The second breakthrough is Enterobics, an oncolytic vaccine using a mix of harmless viruses to directly attack cancer cells while boosting immunity. Tested for colorectal cancer, brain tumors, and melanoma, it reduced tumors by 60 to 80 percent in preclinical studies with minimal side effects. Clinical trials began in June 2025 and it's now awaiting final health ministry approval for free distribution to Russian patients. With over 4 million cancer cases in Russia, the government is funding these vaccines, making them free for patients, despite the mRNA version costing $3,800 per dose. This focus on accessibility could redefine cancer care, but experts caution no peer-reviewed human trial data is available yet. And these therapies work alongside surgery or chemo, not as replacements. Russia's efforts align with global mRNA vaccine trials in the United Kingdom and United States. But transparency is critical. For the latest update on this promising story, stay tuned to all our social platforms at Guardian Nigeria.